People build houses they can't live in because they die. Stop overworking. If you are hypertensive, go to your doctor, get a medication. People think it's a bad thing for you to have medication you are using every day. And instead, you cannot, they will, they will be looking for miracle. Even the Bible said an evil and a trust generation seeketh a sign. Stop seeking signs and miracles. There are medications for most illnesses to manage them. You cannot pray diabetes away. You cannot pray hypertension away. You have to be on medication to lower your blood pressure. You have to take things easy. And for those of you after 45 men, that you cannot enter Jerusalem like before. Stop drinking aloma. If you can't perform like before, get go and talk to your doctor. Get Cialis or Viagra once a while. You cannot, you cannot have intercourse the way you were having it in your 20s or your 30s. You can't. You need to, you need to come to that realization. Stop trying to do, to booga like that. You cannot booga in the other room like you used to booga before. Okay? I, we need, we need a, <clears throat> a different mindset. You see? Like I told you at the beginning of this uh, video, that the nature of illness is random. Nobody is after you. It's not your sin. All those Christian sisters and brothers will come and start praying for you as if you are the biggest sinner. Chase them away. Talk to someone who can help you, who will sympathize. And those are your doctors and the nurses. Those people will make you uh, look like you are Adam who ate the first apple. Illness is random. I volunteer here at Ronald McDonald House. I have seen terminally ill children under the age of five, which sin is a, is, is, has a two-year-old committed to, to have le leukemia or some kind of childhood cancers. So if someone starts trying to make you feel it is your sin that caused illness for you, that person is sick. And this race to build this house, to build that house, I don't know what is happening to us. If you not build house, you are picking if you build house now. It's not by force. I don't know. We need to get our priorities right. We need to think about what is important in life. People have houses in this place, in this place with beautiful cars. They take vacations and the next thing at 42, they die. You need wellness to enjoy the money you have acquired. Work cannot leave you. You will have to leave work someday. Report any untoward sign to your doctor. Understand your body. You can notice quick changes. When changes happen and is persistent, talk to your doctor. People who are given terrible diagnosis, they did not offend God. We have no idea no idea whatsoever how we drew our cards. Bad things happen to good people. Bad things do happen. When bad things happen, that's when you need faith to bear it. But it's not olive oil. Olive oil does not cure anything. Don't let anybody deceive you. That deception about religion is too much. And I'm, I'm so ashamed that uh, brilliant people, educated people, continue to, to fall prey. I can understand if illiterates fall prey to the antics of these pastor perennials. When your pastors get sick, do you hear about it? They seek help. You need to go and seek help. I hate to hear this one has died. That one has died. If you have an illness and you manage it and you die, at least your family will have the ultimate satisfaction that you did try your best to st stay alive. Some of us, we don't, we don't eat well. 